scholarship comes with 32,000 annual as a uh, stipend and the tuition fee are fully waived for the education of your program at this university. Note that you must be ready to take up research uh, based programs and all your overseas student aids will also add uh, related consign will be covered and if you are an international student you can participate in this scholarship today. Your relocation allowance is also included for students that will be moving to Australia. So today we are talking mainly about Australia scholarship. Okay, the paid sick leave and maternal leave are also offered. So if you are a, a person who is uh, sick or you are close towards your maternal period, then your fee or the expenses will actually be covered. International students gain valuable networking opportunity. You have the privilege to meet with other students or other people around the globe, okay? And the scholarship provides an opportunity to study in a conduct uh, 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 to to study and conduct research in Australia. So it, this is not uh, the opportunity that you will have to go and do your research in another country. All your research will be done here in Australia, okay? For those that will be applying, let's quickly look at the eligibility requirements. This is open to both uh, domestic and international students, right? And applicants must be eligible to enroll in a full-time higher degree program at the university that we are talking about. And you must also meet the academic entry requirements, okay, for the master or doctoral uh, program at the university, okay? So all the doctoral scholarship uh, completion of both uh, bachelor and master is required and for the master completion of your bachelor is actually required international applicant must provide evidence of meeting the uh, minimum english language proficiency so if you are coming from nigeria i will advise that you go and get a language certificate letter okay so go and get a language certificate letter Applicant must not receive other financial support that exceed 75% of the RCP stipend rate. Okay, so you know this RCP is a general thing in most universities right now in Australia. So you must make sure that you are not receiving other scholarship that is up to 75%. So if you get any RCP funding from any other university which is not up to this, then you can still participate in this. Okay. You must also demonstrate exceptional research potential suitable for an uh, HDR program. Okay, so we're going to look into that in proper, but let's look at the documents you need. You need your CV, you need a copy of your passport, birth certificate, or residency uh, visa, copy of uh, official academic transcripts. So that uh, residency visa, it's uh, for those who are in, uh, uh, in Australia. Right, but if you are someone outside Australia, which is an international student outside Australia, then you need to attach your copy of your current passport. Right, okay, copy of your official uh, academic transcript is required. You also need to make sure that your degree certificate is also uh, available, right? And you then need to go ahead and uh, reach out to supervisor. So you also need to uh, attach the evidence of your or uh, reaching out or evidence that your supervisor has agreed to actually uh, pick up a research program with you okay your research outline 1500 to uh, 1700 words okay including title feed description okay and the ethical concern that you are focusing on okay so we are going to look at how you can pick your research program in a little you will need to also uh, reach out to two of your referee to fill up the HDR referee report form for you. Okay, so you can see here from two referee, you can also attach maybe some of your publication, some of your portfolio. You can attach them to this. Okay, so to the uh, application. Okay, now the deadline here, as you can see, is a uh, 30th September. So as at the time of making this video, you have a uh, maximum of one month, one month and four days, I guess. So you have maximum of one month and four days now to submit your application. But if you are coming across this at the later time, you might still want to go ahead and check if the application is open again 
or not okay so but currently now as at the time of making this video for you uh you still have one month to submit your application now let's quickly see the official link to submit the application so if you come to the bottom right here you are going to see this uh button this apply now button and the official uh link button so when you get to this page first what you want to click on is when when you get to this page it will bring you this pop-up that uh do you want to see information for international students then you click it intending to study on a study visa not a citizen of australia or new zealand not an australia permanent resident not a order of australia humanitarian visa so you want to click on this okay so we're going to click that okay so now we have information for international students so if you scroll down here you are going to see here that the deadline here is 31st of march 2025 right that is not the deadline for you okay because if you read this you are going to see domestic applicants are australia citizen right so this is not for you and it said the scholarship is open now for domestic and international applicants okay but if you scroll down to this section let me show you very well domestic closing date 31st october domestic application outcome mid december international closing dates 30th september you see that so international applica uh, application outcome mid november so please don't go and uh, wait till that time before you submit your application you have the time right so you can go ahead now to submit your application okay so the rtp scholarship for international students closes on monday so you can see it yourself every information you need to know okay is there then this is where you can get your uh, supervisor so ap uh, applicants must have a cdu supervisor so you can click on this i think you should you should be familiar with all this process right now so all the information about the stipend with this course everything is here the thirty two thousand uh, dollars that i talk about annually for full-time students paid in fortnite uh instrumental okay or instruments okay the one for part-time students so i will advise you go for the full-time program right to have uh more privilege okay everything we've talked about you can actually see it here the basic leave the mat uh the maternity uh leave relocation allowance all of those things we've talked about everything is also here on the official on the official portal okay so if you want to check your supervisor you click on this link right here this one this one here when you click on this it will bring you here to this page to come and look for supervisor right so uh depending on what you want to look into so then you search through okay so i will not take your time to be going through all of this we've seen that the deadline is still there so you want to come and do your own research and then uh, start your application so if you think you are comfortable and you want to start your application you then click on this one to start your application so if i click on this to take me to the page where i can start my application okay so make sure you get a supervisor reach out to the supervisor have a consent from your supervisor then you can start your application okay don't forget to also get the uh, hdr uh, reference form right so this is the official application portal where you can start the application you have the register button and the login button so you already know what you should click on then you can start your application immediately let me click on this okay it's still the same page okay so if you want to start start your application immediately okay reach out uh the first thing you need to do is reach out to the supervisors the list of programs are here where you can reach out to supervisors so let's say we are looking for engineering and information technology you scroll down here you see these are the prof these are the professors okay so we have six nine 12 15 18 we have 19 of them in this uh, department okay we have 19 professor in this department we have 19 professors so you just need to see 
what these professors are participating in. You can see research interests. These are their research interests. So let's scroll up. You can see this one too. Using green, blue, gray infrastructure to mitigate urban heat island. Okay. All of these are things that uh, they have interest in. You can also see all of these research interests. So you want to search for what you have interest in before you uh, start your application. Okay. So malware, I see malware auto ship attribution, expanding area for malware detection. I think I uh, okay, this is more of cyber security. So you can actually pick any one of these, then submit your application. Okay, so this is actually a good one. Okay, so if you've not subscribed to this channel, do well, subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bell. So that you can be notified when there's a new video for you here and i hope uh, this is helpful for you to make your decision if you are going to migrate to australia or not okay so till then i'm going to reach out to you again